Um, should we dig into these? Uh... We've watched a couple documentaries. Yeah. One couple. one we can get through pretty quickly. We should start with first, which is the Kai documentary. Yeah. The uh, On Netflix. Every, a lot of people tagged us in it being like, because, you know, we talked yeah. about it. I don't it. even think we need video accompaniment to this one. There's nothing really in it that we haven't seen. Yeah. Uh, the only thing worth talking about mm-hmm. are the people they interview that yeah. were behind the scenes pushing Kai. Yeah, that is. They actually, got everything they deserve. That's the most interesting. So the documentary on Netflix is, I think, called uh, The Hitchhiker. The uh, Hatchet Wielding Hitchhiker. The Hatchet Wielding Hitchhiker on Netflix. Yeah. yeah. And that yeah. was a, a video we watched back. Long time ago. I mean, like seven years ago. And it was a viral video from like 2003 or something, right? It was 2006, uh, 11, I think. Okay. 2011 yeah. or 2012, because I remember drinking and then finding that video, and I thought it was. It was 2013. We just discovered him in like 2016 yeah, on this yeah. show. Yeah, but I remember this girl I used to date, and I always that was like a reference when we get hammered at a bar. <laughs> smash, <laughs> go, smash, I'm smash, 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 smash. Since smashed. nine years ago. Um. The, the telling thing about Kai that I did find funny when they, because, you know, this is like a altogether compiling of the things and the interviews he's done. I like that more than once, while in the middle of like smiling, laughing, he turns to a camera. And this one, the main one he did, and one or two others, at some point he goes, oh man, you know, I'm just cruising, hanging out and surfing. You know, you deserve love no matter what terrible yeah, things you yeah. have done to other people. What horrific. No matter what crazy things you've done in this world unspeakable anyway the waves are cresting time for me to hit the shore nothing like the sun kissing your (laughs) face in the morning also if you've ever really (laughs) hurt someone i mean really hurt someone you're forgiven you never really kill a man his soul just leaps into yours sometimes the demons need to feed (laughs) and if they don't that's when the real problems happen, and that's when you just gotta get back to being <laughs> sunny and happy. Do you know about the Kai the Hitchhiker? Are you aware of this at all? There was a viral video years ago in a news story. By the um, way, we're speaking to uh, Emily Stoolpigeon, the newest employee yeah. here. <laughs> Emily the Snitch. <laughs> She's wearing a wire. Uh, a- Emily Tattletail of yeah. the Connecticut Tattletales. Yeah. She's coming down here to expose the whole thing. For sure. She goes, and it all goes through one Jacob Batal. <laughs> I'll flip quick, by the way. I'll flip quick. I'll be like, check Jacob's hard drive. Check it. Check it. I don't even know. I don't even use a computer. I'm scared of him. Go. I bet it's dark. Jacob has, has sex with dolls at his mom's house. I'm a sim- I'm a sim- <laughs> I'm a simple country he boy. under the bus. <laughs> I don't do stuff like that. He kills iguanas and Lou lives with his brother who I think they rob banks. I don't know. Just get it off me. DJ Lou's gay for pay. Look at his shirt. He tries to hide it with stickers instead of just not wearing that shirt. He can't. <laughs> He could just not wear the shirt. Damn, dude. Was it double laundry day? It's such a comfortable shirt. <laughs> I Sweat- bet. Sweatshirt. It's emotionally comfortable. It's also a comfortable lifestyle if you just get into it. <laughs> yeah, why don't you just be gay for pay, dude? Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, you, oh, you ripped the G off. God. Oh, I did? No, no, no. There's just tape over it still. It's gay for pay, and he put black tape over it. Oh. No, it's still there. Because honey didn't want to know. He's missing a piece pe- of tape to take off. He didn't want people to know he parties. Why do you have that? <laughs> Why do you have that? I know, right? Yeah. Oh, You're not to be at my job. I don't know what to tell Ew. you. Why do you have that? You have it covered up like it's an FBI document. <laughs> oh. There All right. you go. Now no, you got to p- fix the G. It's not that it? two members yeah, you're zero, tape over it still. You're zero okay. dark fruity. Oh, no. <laughs> it, it. it actually ripped off. Oh, it's hilarious. So now it's... But people can still tell it's gay for pay. Yeah. No, they can't. Boy, it looks That's like... funny. By the way, it says gay for pee. <laughs> gay for penis, dude. <laughs> you ripped off the gay one. <laughs> you made it worse. <laughs> gay for pee. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> if Joe the Rose was in here, he would fa- he would die right now of laughter. That would make him so happy. He would ask for that sweatshirt. <laughs> Gay for B. There's nothing worse than a zany bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Man, shit. when this song plays, it's like there's mag- magnets in the sky. Just I love it. Oh, your I know. Hands above your head. I never. By the, by the way, I was I was up <laughs> top making jokes, but the bottom was going. You just automatically move. Why don't you write that down, Emily? Why don't you say that we're dancing gay yeah. and, and living out loud? Why don't you talk about the fact that I don't all see you our, jotting that down? All of our torsos should be covered in glitter. <laughs> Do you wanna funk? Won't you tell me now? <laughs> yeah, dude, we're all funking out. 
Um, well, anyway, was, Kai. <laughs> yeah, he. So he. There was a uh, a man ran into uh, um, a service worker, like a PG and E electric worker, and then got out of the car. He had him pinned, and was saying that he was Jesus and he was going to kill him. Dude, and that these, guy was cooked out, man. Yeah, and then these two women. He grabbed one of the women that was trying to help the man that was pinned, and uh, this big guy was holding a woman, and Kai was hitchhiking. And he had a hatchet. Oh, Kai was in the car with the guy. That's what you'd find out, though. Yeah, at, yeah. First, at first, that's what the documentary, I didn't yeah. even know that. I didn't know that either. I thought he was just like passing by. I didn't know yeah. he was in the guy's car. So the original story, they say like he was passing by and he had a hatchet and he hit the guy three times and saved this woman. The man didn't die. He went to jail or whatever. And then through the documentary, you find out that he uh, was smoking a lace joint with the guy, which is uh, crazy. Well, he, there's an accusation of that, but they said there was no... Like when they when they said they did the toxicology stuff, there was no. Oh really? Yeah. No, there was no. Uh, so he's lying about having like a lace joint, but he also like Kai. You realize is a guy that would be in the car going like, "Dude, you're Jesus, man." Yeah. And then when he goes, "I'm Jesus," he goes, "This guy's wacky, huh?" This guy's cooked out. <laughs> Dude, that guy was cooked out, man. So the documentary is about, uh, and you can watch it on Netflix. But if you uh, don't mind spoilers, we're going to talk about it. Um, on it, on the documentary, it talks about how immediately he was like a viral success. The producer Jimmy Kimmel wanted him on. All these, this woman that worked on the Kardashians wanted to do a show, like a uh, a, reality a reality show, show about this like happy hitchhiker. And but they keep bringing it up in the documentary, which is true. Where it's like they keep leaving out the point that this guy just. Willingly took a hatchet to another dude's head. Third third strike was blade side, too. Yeah, he did one, two, dull side, third side with the blade. <laughs> yeah. One, two, hold on. Yeah, flip, and <laughs> let's see. Yeah, they really process. do. It's like, that's what the, they finally, <laughs> Oops, sorry, I said it's finally a documentary. <laughs> like, whatever you say about this guy, like, saving people and everything, like, it's violent as shit what he did. Yeah, you know, it takes... And celebrating him, it's like, everyone wants to go, hey, let's have a funny little uh, sketch and joke with this guy, Kai. It's like, hey, have you got any help for almost killing that guy? I yeah. mean, I know he was... Like, if you shot an intruder in your house, you'd be fucked up. Yeah. And that's you know I mean? at You're your supposed house. to be. And this guy was like, they tried to put him on Jimmy Kimmel, and they put him in a nice hotel room, and he immediately drank a bottle of Jack Daniels. <laughs> there, yeah, where he was Buried like, it in the big, regular, buried. like a real bottle. Yeah, like like he's Belushi in fucking Animal House. <laughs> he drank that shit down, and they were like, <laughs> okay. And I love that. I told you every time we see a celebrity in a commercial, Katie and I do the director. Oh, when yeah. the commercial's over, where you go, eh, like the Paul Giamatti is Albert I Einstein. Dude, I swear to God, I was going to interrupt you to, to say, yeah, Paul, because every time well, the now we do, I, I can't even watch the commercial because I just see him. I go, what happened, man? We do the, things are going great. Who do you owe money to? Were you yeah. on DraftKings for too long? <laughs> Did you lose all your money on DraftKings? We we do two things. We do the pitch to Paul Giamatti where he's like, well, I'm not going to sacrifice my own personal self and be in the commercial. And they go, want to play Einstein? And he's like. <laughs> I'll do it. And it's just like a bunch of them where they keep doing it. They go, well, Charlie Chaplin probably needs Verizon, so you'll play Charlie Chaplin next. And he's like, I love it. Let's do it. <laughs> but we every time there's a celebrity in a commercial, like the Kevin Hart DraftKings one, we always do commercial director. We're at the end of the commercial. We go, and cut. That was awesome, Kevin. Yeah. That's going to come out hilarious <laughs> that is so f and that's the energy that all these people thanks for coming it. down uh, you thanks were for yeah we There's honestly we had to stop the crew from laughing when you barked like a dog it was like kevin where do you come up with this it's literally what that documentary years ago kind of said about the reality show things those people all describe i mean they're dimwits yeah and you don't feel terribly bad for them because they're kind of sh trashy shitty people but they really came into the show and they're like for the first day we felt like king. Like yeah. they take us, they put us in the nicest hotel. They say, get room service, empty the mini bar. They don't care. They have booze for them backstage and their limo from the hotel. Yeah, the they're like rock stars. And then when they're done, they're like, get the fuck out of here, yeah. piece of shit. And that is your baby. Like my six hundred. You are the father, <laughs> yeah. you fucking scumbag. Now get out of here. Stay in a motel six you hunk of shit. My, like my six hundred pound life people, they're probably like <sighs> They just fed me. They just kept feeding me because the producers are like, you know what sounds super yummers right now is a pickle sandwich with donuts. Like, <laughs> That's all I've ever wanted to eat. <laughs> and they're like, fucking, <laughs> like, oh my God. Well, you also find out about- Dude, those girls, when the cameras all go away and that door closes and you just see the light close on her fucking crazy forehead stomach. Yeah. And then she's just sitting there in the Dude, dark until production weird, shows up again. That weird breathing. 
Dude, the noises, of them, <laughs> the noises of them eating, if you woke up and just heard that around the corner, it would scare you. You'd be like, what are they going to feed me? Dude? It's mouth closed, back of the throat, nose stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to them. Listen to them. But here's the thing. They don't need people feeding. They need people being like, hey, this is a doctor. And All their families are the enablers. Dude. Yeah. Bring them. Exactly. The worst shit. There's, I love my 600-pound life. Well, the strange addiction. You bring up the picture of them in the car. The strange addiction people, too, where they're like, like producers, and they're like, you know what we got you? A queen-size foam mattress you can munch on. <laughs> oh, like, Thank you so much. Yeah, exactly. You're like, you shouldn't know this woman should not be eating a mattress. I heard you like eating toilet paper. <laughs> Guess what? Turns out the Charmin Bears came by. <laughs> <laughs> all Hello. Over. She goes, oh my God. It's the room of toilet paper. She just dives in, starts eating her way out. You're the best. She holds it on her finger and goes, <laughs> she's slurping spaghetti. <laughs> the spoon. The <laughs> and then there's a doctor there. It's like, this is going to uh, kill her. You look at them in the car together. It's my favorite thing on the show. <laughs> It looks so. It looks like it's split screen of two different things happening. <laughs> yeah, it looks. Also, like a, they have to show that she needs like a whole extra seatbelt situation a happening. Harness, seat <laughs> a, a harness. <laughs> they, I know it is what it's called, but it just seems meaner on a person that big. Well, it looks like a fighter. It looks like a fighter pilot seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> Are you about to hit Moth One Jaeger? What's going on, baby? <laughs> Cougar, I need you to calm down. Cougar, pay attention. Uh, you know what it's He's like, look at his face. He's always like, come on, big mama, don't get mad. I was thinking Jay going, hotter than my guest, no. Hotter than my guest, no. But all these. He's like, come on, mama, you're already sitting in the back seat. But all of these like reality TV producers have the same energy as commercial producers where they're like, Yes, that was incredible, and you see that in the Kai documentary. You see oh, that yeah. you see that woman be like, Kai was instantly you wanted to just watch him, and then they're like, so we got a hotel for him, and yeah. he was a problem. He pissed. Like, yeah, he he's like, a homeless man. Like he pissed on the leg of the president of ABC, and he was honestly as close to feral as I've ever seen a human being. What but, the funniest thing to me was on Jimmy Kimmel was they flat ironed his hair. That was their big move. <laughs> you go. You know what we're gonna do. We're gonna give this motherfucker. <laughs> they flat out. That was their whole move. They should have permed him. And then they gave him a and the same thing. By the way, they gave him a a surfboard and a wetsuit on Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, as a gift, and then said, "We'll drive you anywhere." And they just drove him back upstate, California. He's- he just, just let him out. just let him out on the side of the road somewhere. <laughs> they had to white <laughs> wetsuit. They had to white fang him. Like, Get out of here. Go. I hate you. And he goes. You guys sure you don't want me to come back? And then, sort of, the the local news guy who does this interview yeah, with him, which this guy's the guy, to... he goes, he tries to do that. He he shows up in the wilderness to see Kai to see if he recognizes him. Like, like, <laughs> like you know those wolf. video, you know those videos where the lions yeah, come and tackle yeah, the guy, yeah. and he comes back and like his shoot. face. Yeah, that's what he was trying to do with Kai. He was like, he's like, my <laughs> smell. <laughs> he, goes, <laughs> he knows it's me, dude. dude. I know everyone hates when I do this, but the American Dad when they try to redo that. Yeah. Goes, oh my God! It's uh, whatever his name is. Like it's Casper, and like they do like a split screen. They show the whole thing of Casper being raised, and then having to leave and being set free, and then they start running towards each other. And this wolf just starts eating. Goes, it's not Casper. It's not Casper at all. <laughs> well, while we're here, I'll tell you a reference I wanted to bring up on American Dad that I'd never seen him make is when um, when they get into bowling, when Steve and Stan get into bowling. Yeah. One of the videos, you know, the strike videos, yeah. is the towers going down and it's pins <laughs> celebrating. <laughs> like, the videos they do, one of them's Kennedy. It's Kennedy as a bowling pin gets knocked over and he knocks the other ones over. The the strike videos on American Dad were one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> That's just... So um, but yeah, so Kai the Hitchhiker, the documentary, the guy, the main news, the local news guy from Fresno, shout out Fresno, shout out Fresno High. By Trish, the way, who, Trish's alma mater. Who really has got himself in some kind of shape. Guy, let's talk about that. I don't want to talk about Kai. What do you do? Meal prep? What is what, it? What Cardio? Do do? Cardio? This guy went from being like, by the way, not an uh, unattractive gentleman. Um, you know, well, Lou, you're gay for pee. Do you think he was a good-looking guy when you watched the documentary? Who? Who are we talking about? The Fresno local news, Fresno guy, the guy who's basically narrating the whole thing. Oh yeah, he really turned himself around. He, he looked like really a schlub, did. but now yeah, a no. bit of a schlub, but and now I would say dashing. He is dashing, and he also. But he, what he does is he has that like hustle mentality brain where oh, he's yeah. like, 
He's calling me right now. You want me to pick up? <laughs> that, that kind of thing? Or he's Look like, at that. I could talk to Kai. He's my best friend. And then you realize that they've only hung out like a couple times. They and didn't it make seems that clear. All, it also seems so very much like Kai, not that big of a fan of his. Yeah. Like, he's and he's like, like, I don't know, you're kind of a dildo. Kai has a certain way of communicating with people. That, like that was his role throughout the I can the understand. I speak fluid Kai. Yeah, you're like, it's not Jody Foster and Nell. <laughs> it's like, Sanana. Uh, nah, 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 nah. nah, nah. That's a lot of... Yeah, there he yeah. is. And then Kai really makes up. dad jokes all the time. He's like, I wouldn't say I miss it. You know? <laughs> oh, no, he goes, you're a viral sensation. He goes, I don't have a virus. I'm a sensation. And he just shows you his fucking jack-o'-lantern teeth. <laughs> Top teeth. There's that's, a, the, that's the lady. That's the lady that's like, I really thought we could have done something with him. That's so fun. By the way, when they interview like uh, the family of the guy he killed... Or the neighbors, the neighbors of yeah. the guy he killed, or the old man, and murdered. the guy who knew him when he was a kid, like his cousin. Or they're all like, "Yeah, he's like fucked up." <laughs> yeah. like, I don't know why you guys thought this guy was going to be so awesome. Yeah, he's they like, talked to his cousin, up. and he's like, "We were kids. He was pretty normal. There was a uh, there was a darker side to him." Yeah, and then he's like, he's like, "I am loved." And his mom's like, "I was just proud he's on the TV." <laughs> yeah, she goes, "My Kai wouldn't do that, or would he?" I think my best guess on Kai, because I don't think this really summed it up very well at all. I thought the documentary overall was pretty whatever. Yeah. Um, it didn't tell the new story at all. No, there was no, like, new information, really. Other than, like, they said the documentary, the, the value of it is what you said right here, is these people. The you really see the, the right tools now, like, that are around. The people them. behind that are like, oh, yeah, this guy should be, like, made a star tomorrow for doing something insane in the streets. Yeah, and they all got what they deserved. That's the only satisfying part is when they're like... Well, it was just real hard to be around him. He uh, wasn't stable, and so we had to let him back out into the wild. And you're like, hey, you fucking... Yeah, but you get? I'm pretty sure my best guess on him is he was molested as a child or something. Through that, I think he's done some... He survived by probably doing some gay-for-pay stuff, Lou. Not like you. He does it for money, not just for the dick. Not just for the pee. Not just for the pee, the way you're into. <laughs> Man, I can't believe how you made that sweatshirt so much worse. <laughs> Gay, and then by the way, in parentheses, it says like, goes, by the way, that's for P. Just you know, I'm a guy. Yeah, for P. Gay for P, dude. <laughs> Gay for P, dude. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you don't know, now, now you, you know. know. But um, <clears throat> he was uh, something happened to him terrible. I think he does that. Like, I think he would fuck guys for places to stay because I do believe. That old man, the way they were hugging, and he just gets to stay with old men for a while. Those and situations hugged, always seem like an older gay guy who, like... There's a camera angle where they show them leaving at the train, and the guy, the old after man... After he says that he was raped by him already. And the old man really gives him a, let me get one more, just to... You know, he really is like, oh. he's leaving, and he goes... Your body's so tight. He goes, oh, come here, let me hold you one more time. God, look at you. Look at you. Oh, You're those, so fucking strong. That hatchet swing had really done good for those arms. Oh, arms. you're a really an outside boy. Yeah. <laughs> I like you. I wasn't allowed I to I like to smell the nature on you. I wasn't allowed to touch boys back in the Merchant Marine. <laughs> but now They I called did. you a ninny and sent you back stateside. <laughs> yeah, but I killed men in Korea. Let me hold <laughs> Let me tell you. God damn. Something happened to him bad. And now and someone damn described it. He is, he's he's white he's a uh, he's guy monster. He's the movie monster. That's what yeah. he does. He goes and I think uh a nice old man who wants to do something gay with him does something gay, and then he's like, "Why'd you?" He do just that? snaps and says, "You molested me," and, and it kills him. Hey, he's like the teen that turned his teacher in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a real through line today. Kai goes, "I think I'm gonna murder you because I just realized you raped me." <laughs> he goes, yeah. He's in a robe. I like the newspaper goes down. He goes. <laughs> <laughs> so you what? You have to pull that one. What's that? <laughs> the New York Times. Goes, They're approaching. He goes, I think you raped me, Mr. Anderson. He goes, he goes how, are your, me? <laughs> how are your Fruit Loops, Kai? <laughs> I just, he's just eating cereal. I just realized you raped me. So he goes, <laughs> Come again? What's that? He goes, now hang on. No, 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 no. Let's have a conversation about that. What did you he's say? got a pipe. He goes, oh, I'm taking a beating on the market. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized you raped me. He goes, the S and P's <laughs> kicking my ass this week. <laughs> you raped me. That's what? A... Oh, I just told you a pop tart thing. <laughs> <laughs> the, the flop of the paper down. He goes, what's that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's I, he murdered that man. It's pretty obvious. I don't think he's arguing it even. Yeah, because because that's what he said. That, that was his way of like the subtle confession was. 
he went on social media. He's like, what would you do if a man raped you and you had cum running down your face? Would and you then, kill him? That's pretty him fair. Would you kill him? What would you do? And when they take and then the next thing is like, getting a little nar-nar over here on South Beach. And then when they bring him into the police to question him and they go like, he's like, is there a death penalty in New Jersey? And they're like, what? They're like, we can't talk to you anymore. He goes, ah. Uh-oh, I said too much. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> he goes, what's, what's, what's the penalty for a crime like that? Is there a death penalty? Did you, did you, I think he raped me. What's that, love? <laughs> <laughs> coming up, coming up so Kai, I got to tell you, you were an animal last night. He's holding a coffee. I, it took me two minutes to almost sit down. I'm, I'm goes, telling you, you are an insatiable lover. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to tire me out. I'm surprised you were able to keep me going that long. I haven't been drained like that since the 80s bathhouse. You took advantage of me. What's that? <laughs> What's that, lover? Yeah, he said that the first night he went there, he says the guy fucked his mouth while he was asleep. Yeah, so and they, then, he said they watched movies and he he fell asleep and then woke up. Mouth fucked. Mouth fucked. And then, uh, and then he was like, "I'm leaving." Then the guy paid for him to, or he went, he went to leave, and then he couldn't get out of town, so he went back. And the guy was like, "Sure, man, Come going in. back's got to be rough." Where you're like, "Hey, uh, miss the train? <laughs> <laughs> Can I stay another night?" <laughs> and he's like, "Well, uh, sure. Want to watch a movie again?" He's like, yeah. "No." Are you going to sleep just as heavy as last night? Yeah. Being a hot hitchhiker is like being a hot woman. <laughs> He's like, you're going to make me stay with you, aren't you? Like, but that would be my best guess, would be that like uh, he just snaps and yeah. starts killing. I, think that, I, I, don't th- I don't think that old man, that old man couldn't rape him. You know what I mean? It was a really old man. I mean, if we're putting bets on a fight, there's no way I'm betting money on him. No, that's what I'm saying. So not that he couldn't have drugged him and done it. It's just, I don't think it was. I think it was an old man who got excited because, like, you know, I like, think like, Kai pick, was like picking up a to him it was like picking up a hooker, and I yeah. think Kai was like fine with that, and then like snaps. Yeah, and so that's basically what the documentary goes into. Yeah, and then you know he's in jail forever. Yeah, I think he got like how long of a sentence? Fifty-seven some years or so. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So he's he's in jail till he's dead. <clears throat> Probably. How old was he when he went in? Twenty-four, I think. When he comes out at seventy-five. <laughs> Smash, smash, smash. thirty four now. Smash, he's thirty four now. You, he goes to McDonald's and he goes, "Here's your food, sir." He goes, "You raped me." <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> oh, not this guy. <laughs> oh, here we go. 